Hello and welcome, beloved viewers and seekers of divine wisdom. I am Apostle John Grace Festus. God's people had to give it the highest importance in their lives that was the only way to victory and the enjoyment of God's blessings. Now we have God's full revelation in the Bible, and God's word is of the utmost importance in the life of every believer. Obedience to it is the only way to have success in the Christian life. Realm of revelation and inspiration, few voices shine as brightly as the one we are about to hear. Prepare your hearts and minds, for in just a moment, we will be graced by the presence of a true vessel of God's word. He is a preacher, a teacher, and a beacon of divine knowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the one and only Apostle Joshua Selman, who will illuminate our souls on the topic that has been divinely appointed for this moment. Brace yourselves for an encounter that will surely transform your life. God is looking for people in this meeting who can genuinely be broken to say, Lord, I know that they call me intelligent. I know that they call me beautiful. I know that they say I am a great man, but I call myself one who cannot move forward except you help me. It is only in your light that I see light. Now, that posture itself is prayer because the Bible tells us in Ephesians 3.20, that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. That means your mind is also a prayer warrior. There is something it is telling God. Your thinking can be antagonistic to your prayer. That while you are saying, Lord, help me, your mind and your understanding can be saying, I don't need your help. I am full of myself. Believe me, I stand before God to tell you every time I have the privilege to spend time with God a large portion of my interaction with him is Lord I am limited limited in knowledge limited in ideas frail as a man I do not even know what my tendencies are outside of your help and assistance and then the Holy Spirit now has something to say he can now come to you since you acknowledge that you need me let's go and he will hold your hands the strange thing is that people will not see him you are the one they will see so they will give you the applause of both you and him you must be wise enough to channel because you are the one who knows so when you clap for apostle joshua selman the first clap was more than enough all those remaining you are crediting it to the wrong person I must be intelligent to know that if you weigh me and add everything it should not equal the results it means there is a helper behind the scenes are we together now if you ask me to lift this i probably can lift it if you ask me to lift this speaker i may not be able to lift it with one hand easily yet if i touch the speaker and the speaker just rises it means there must be somebody who is there is an agency helping just because you cannot see that agency does not mean it is not there when you see god talk to somebody to stand up and come and meet you and vow that he will not leave you till you are blessed until you rise please learn it that the world is too wicked for people to be that kind there has to be somebody moving them to you you can know the ministry of the helper Palas the life of your pastor is proof that God has helped men. Everybody you see has a caption on his head that God is using greatly. Ebenezer, helped by God. Helped by God. In ministry, helped by God. In business, helped by God. That one person goes to bed and is sleeping and God will wake another person for his case and says, ensure that this person and his children do not cry. I give it to you as an assignment. Based on what do you think this cruel and selfish world, how come an individual will just isolate you to bless you? The moment you see those traces, know that the helper is moving with you. Listen, I'm introducing an economy for you tonight that I pray that you will tap into it. You will truly find rest. You can allow the helper. Man of God, the helper can come and help your ministry. You will try strategies, but if the helper is not there to back it up, you will be surprised how what should work will not work. Have I wasted your time? 
so he taught you about intimacy but let me tell you now that true intimacy is not just powered by reading scripture and prayer alone those things only find their relevance when the state of your heart is already in place you are Ebenezer Ebenezer You are Ebenezer You are Ebenezer Many years ago, the Lord told me something. He said, son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. I thought that was a very easy statement if you will let men see me when God came listen carefully we're about to pray when God came to Solomon in the night and said ask his voice had come what do I give you and Solomon started his statement like this let me tell you what made him touch the heart of God he said God I am young I am limited now you have put me as a leader over these great people am I able to lead them on my own that is the language that attracts God he said grant unto your servant an understanding heart God said that's it since you did not ask for the life of your enemies nor for this and that i have given you an understanding heart such as i've given no man and in addition i have given you riches wealth and honor he didn't ask for those things our world today prides ourselves in celebrity living the truth is when god leaves you people will acknowledge you but let me teach you a very powerful secret it must become it must become part of your intentional approach to life to make sure that you never rise to a position where you come out of that zone that secures the presence of the holy spirit and i am telling you the key is to perpetually remain in that state of need that was the blessing he gave jacob in genesis chapter 32 the bible says that jacob wrestled with a man after dismissing his wives his cattle the bible says that night a man came to him and jacob began the wrestle are we together and he said leave me for the day the, the day breaketh and jacob said i will not let you go what was the request bless me do you agree watch how he blessed him he said he touched the hollow of his thigh and destabilized the man's balance and then blessed him and changed his name what is your name Jacob thou shalt no longer be called Jacob but Israel for as a prince you have had power with God and you have prevailed he blessed him he touched the whole of his time how does God bring imbalance to your life and calls it a blessing that means he will never have to walk alone unassisted he will always need a staff for that is what he calls blessing that the more de dependent you are in this kingdom that is what god calls blessing that on your own you are never able to stand you will need that rod and staff to comfort you and he says you are blessed he blessed him the sun arose and he called that place Peniel for I have seen God face to face and my life is spared man of God listen to me businessman listen to me there are many things that are not as hard as we think it is it is the state of our heart that continues to elongate and prolong the manifestation of the power and the wisdom of God in our lives there are many things that others are praying for and God would take it as a love gift and bring it for others because they have maintained a posture to see you high and lifted up you are shining in the light of your glory pour out your power and love as we sing holy holy 
will see you. I lifted up. You are shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. As we sing, holy, holy, holy. I've studied revivals. I've had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few people while they were alive. And one of such people was Reinhard Bonke. I remember in 2004 when I went for one of his crusades. I was trying to look for the wow factor in that man. What made him so exceptional? Was it the speaking? Was it what he said? Tens of thousands of people. And I stood for six hours. On that crusade ground i was already a man of god you don't receive from a colleague there has to be that gradient to acknowledgement i stood there and i said lord you raise this man and you have given him a voice a man who will go and preach in a land and people will bring in my presence we used to buy better max vhs the videos of his crusades it's not what they told me i saw it and he preached when he came up to preach he shared something so simple in fact annoyingly simple for that kind of test and hunger after traveling so far i was scanning lord what is it that secures your presence with this man very simple message and when he was done my heart honored God and honored him sincerely I said God help me to see I didn't just come uh, it was not just to come and see this by the next day I got there by 3 p.m. I saw them wheeling people on wheelchairs and all of that and I said please let me join and help and also honor this man and they said no 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 you are not in the committee that was trained I said look committee or no committee you don't know where I'm coming from you should leave me in peace that was how I was wheeling these people and said, Lord, this is how it will be in my crusade also. I acknowledged that I didn't have the key. I was not seeing miracles to that degree as at that time. There was no need acting. If it's not there, it is not there. Period. Rather than being humble to receive, you can prolong through pride your journey. I told you the power of God and the ministry of the Holy Spirit will search for brokenness. The earlier you admit your limitation, the faster you will see the investment of the Spirit. When I got there, sir, I stood for six hours. And finally, he came up and he shared a very simple parable and he was about to take water. Then he would now minister to the sick. That was the first time in my life even though i was walking in the anointing even though i had seen god help me to a measure i saw the visible manifestation of the holy spirit a giant bird bigger than this auditorium i've told you this it was hovering around the entire crusade ground i thought everybody was seeing it what is this silvery lines on the wings it was not flapping just like that and the spirit of god took me to genesis chapter 1 and verse 2 and the spirit of god hovered around the face of the waters for me it was not just a lecture it was not theory i had admitted that i, I didn't know god teach me show me when you are stranded you go to them that sell and buy there are them that sell not everybody is in need there are them that sell you buy with humility you buy with recognition and i stood there when i saw that manifestation do you know when that vision was over i had backed the stage i didn't even know when i turned other people were there just laughing others were there but i went there with expectation do you know what made the touch of the woman with the issue of blood draw power everybody was touching but they were touching out of sufficiency there was a woman who had blood 
that the life of the flesh is in the blood it had been drained it was a matter of life and death the bible says she has spent all that is a key for as long as she still had some she would have touched jesus and nothing will happen she spent all her options on doctors every time there is insufficiency the anointing is coming that direction not that we are sufficient of ourselves so when you stand to preach as a man of god thank god for your notes thank god for everything but you now depend on them and you will be surprised but when you stand knowing that if you do not help me you are the one that we praise you are the one we adore you give the healing and praise hearts always hunger for oh our hearts always hunger for from that day the spirit of the lord rested upon me in a mighty way I had the honor and the privilege of meeting one man who had worked very closely with some of these generals and when I met him I said what did they tell you and he said Smith Wigglesworth before he would die he called Lester Sumro and he said make sure you do not die with this anointing he said when you are old search for young men who understand the things of the spirit and impart this grace upon them and when he said that i said oh god i'm available i do not claim to know yes i fast but it can't be in the fasting yes i pray but it can't be in the prayer yes i study the bible i do my due diligence but help me i remember when he laid that hands on me i'm about to pray for you i want you to be very sensitive i already see just the cloud of his presence in this place I didn't used to prophesy like I could give word of knowledge but not to step into the prophetic like this one night many years ago please give me a bit of volume I was watching William Branham people had criticized him said all kinds of things because of some of the mistakes he made towards the end of his ministry but I had studied the man myself there are few people who come close to that man's level of humility you if you carry the grace on that man it's only god that will help you to be humble don't be too quick to judge or find out what people are carrying first there are things when you carry on your head it will take mercy to even stand and i was i was watching him it was in the middle of the night and tears were coming out of my eyes i said lord look at the humility that is upon this man many of the people who criticize this man do not have one tenth his anointing and do not even have one tenth his humility i said lord help me and something happened to me light from my laptop something just came and rested on my head like a cold sensation it took more than 30 minutes please help three people now i just saw light as i just said light just help them i just saw that fire we'll wrap up now just that fire three one two three three of them please help them it is what god is doing i'm seeing like like oil just being poured on them please help them Listen, when that experience happened to me, by the next meeting I went to, it was like the heavens were opened. I said, what is this? What dimension is this? I have about eight minutes from my timer there and I want us to use these eight minutes to pray when the man of God came here he so graciously stirred the waters by challenging you to know 
that the realm of the spirit is the origin the foundation upon this earth he told job he said knoweth thou the ordinances of heaven and he says canst thou establish the dominion in the earth thereof more than principles this earth is immersed in mysteries and for you to access the deep things of the spirit to have power with god indeed according to micah chapter 3 and verse 8 he says i have power by the spirit among the three things if i had time i would have taught you the three dimensions of the help of god the last of them is power the empowerment of the spirit comes as his way of assisting you to those who have no might he increases strength that's how he helps them but the strength is only for those who have no might if you have might you keep running ceo you may still have might in yourself and so you will keep running apostle prophet evangelist your inefficiency may be because you have not assumed the posture that can attract heaven to come and partner with you the formula is always the spirit and the bride saying come results don't come because the bride wants it to come the spirit must say come and then the bride echoes come for the word to come the bible says the word was made flesh but john was given the dynamics of that manifestation it is the spirit and the bride that says come when you say be healed as a bride alone there is no healing until the spirit says be healed then the bride says be healed then healing comes when the spirit says be lifted then the bride says be lifted then lifting comes hello <laughs> Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this love Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this to me Shadabakata Pradeka Sadabalaka Pushokron Boskolina spirit helpeth our infirmity I want to pray for you and I want to ask madam can I pray for you just lift your hands the Lord is calling you to a new season of power I'm seeing a strong anointing come upon you and the Lord is saying by this anointing he's opening gates 
and he's giving you access access to territories even by the spirit of the living god access to territories even by the spirit of the living god now i want to pray for you please listen mountains are not moved by holding them to lift them up they are lifted by the shout of grace 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 is a code in the spirit it is a manifestation of the help of god i'm going to be praying right now i'm seeing the number 24 just a few minutes 24 and i'm seeing fire come on those people and the lord is telling me that he's taking away the hindrances and giving you room for advancement i stretch my hands right now 24 in the name that is above all names help them please i decree and declare may that anointing rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now hallelujah who is bukola bukola i'm hearing a name bukola is there someone with that name i know that our time is up bukola if that is your name or you're following online bukola i just want to pray and speak over that person who is daniel i'm hearing a name daniel daniel I want to pray for you. What do you do, my friend? This one. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming upon you. And you will step into, you will become another man. Even by the Spirit of the living God. My friend, what do you do? Huh? I, cook him. I cook you cook yes because i'm seeing the grace that came on stephen on you that from the welfare department he's taking you to ministry the call of god is upon your hand your life i want to pray for you father in the name of jesus may that grace come upon this gentleman that from serving tables i shift you by the spirit in the name of jesus you will drink of that wine and you will step into superior dimensions of power in the name of jesus christ please bring two people for me now they will shout loud under the anointing to the hearing of everyone i just want to speak to them this one or two minutes two people one is a lady a loud shout i'm just seeing the wind of the spirit rest upon that person he says loud shout to the hearing of everybody my friend take that grace in the name of jesus christ help me a new dimension that young lady this lady please tap her for me the one praying my dear lift your hands i'm seeing the grace that was on esther coming on you and the lord is saying it's a new season i shift you right now by the power of the holy spirit even into that season in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. Everything that has constituted a delay in your life. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab, even down to Israel. There is a grace that can come upon a man and grant you speed. Listen, you see, the zenith of dominion in life is dominion over time. Dominion over time. Real authority is demonstrated when you are able to manipulate time to work out an advantage for you. It says, and I will restore the years. Not just the things. I will restore the years. There are three ways that God brings restoration. Number one, he gives you speed. Number two, he's able to take the things that should have been and to bring it even to your future. It is within his power because he's Alpha, he's Omega. And the third way that God is able to restore is through favor. So he can bring you into prepared blessings, even by his spirit. 
there are times that you will empower your crops to produce but it is subject to time but there are times you will need bread directly you will need it even processed he is able to do both it is within his power i'm saying this because i want to release that grace for speed our time is up as i pray please i want you to be your brother's keeper so that people will begin to run by the spirit please help them so they don't injure themselves i stretch my hands right now may that grace for speed yes by the road of the priest, by the road of the apostolic and the prophetic, in the name of Jesus, take that grace. Speed. Speed. I decree and declare. Speed in your destiny. I decree and declare. Speed. Yes. By the Spirit of grace. Yes. Ten years in one year by the power of the prophetic. One month receiving one year. Spirit in ministry. Spirit in business. I set before you an open door by the key of David that door that no man can shut when open and no man can open when shut may your gates be continually open day and night not to be shut that you would receive the forces of the Gentiles now I lend my voice with the angel over this house the prophet over your life to speak over you that in the name of Jesus Christ who is the son of the living God yes. beginning from tonight the grace to begin to walk with the Holy Spirit in deeper dimensions receive it right now Amen. the hearing ear and the seeing eye in the name of Jesus may it be given to you Amen. The hearing ear and the seeing eye may it be given to you. And if there is anyone here who is already walking in confusion outside of the prophetic blueprint for your life, it says, and when he, the spirit of truth is come, that he will guide us into all truth. I decree and declare, enjoy the guidance of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. And in addition to all that you have received i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead the remaining half of this the year from june even until december it will be by the spirit for you Amen. business by the spirit Amen. ministry by the spirit Amen. parenting by the spirit Amen. finances by the spirit Amen open doors by the spirit Amen. in the name of jesus Christ. Amen. i decree and declare that you are blessed Amen. the blessings that come on account of our work with the holy spirit may they be evident in your life Amen.